I spent some time chatting with the creator of children's book series, Grug. Ted Pryor has a wealth of experience that he shares with us. It's interesting to know the background of the people who create books for our children. Ted, thank you for coming and chatting with us today. It's a pleasure. Tell me, how did Grug come about? Where was he born from? Grug was born uh, in 1978 when my two eldest children uh, were very young and I was starting to read stories to them at night. Mm -hmm. And I thought it would be fun to create uh, a story for them. Mm -hmm. And so I came up with an imaginary character born from the top of a burrowing tree. And that was because we had a lot of very old burrowing trees around where we lived. And, um, and I created a story uh, called the character Grug. Um, and that's how it started. There are so many Grug books. Can you think of the top of your head how many there actually are? There are, in fact, 30 Grug 30. stories. And at the moment, I'm working on three new ones. So that will make 33. Fantastic. But in addition to the normal Grug stories, mm -hmm. we have five board books. It's made from thick cardboard, and it's mainly aimed at the toddlers, the younger ones, who like to Eat stick it. things in their mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, and also Grug's big book of fun. When you were creating Grug for your children, you mentioned that you were reading to them. What other things have you done with your kids in terms of literacy, so early reading? I, th I think um, the most important thing was reading to them from a very young age. And I mean from the time when they were perhaps just a few months old. Mm. I think it's important to r read to them, even if you're not aware that they might be understanding what, mm. what is being said. The practice of reading to a child is, is really, really important. And it's not always about what's being read to them. Sometimes no. it's the rhythm and the intonation oh, yeah. of the voice. I, th I think it's just that activity. Mm. It's something you're doing between you and your child and, um, and it creates a pattern or a habit, if you like, mm. very mm. early in life. And that's, that's very important with a whole lot of things, I think. Mm. So you mentioned that you were building up this habit of reading um, with your children. Did you experience that as a child yourself? Uh, yes, I did. I, I can recall my mother in particular reading uh, to me from a very young age. And I also recall that up until about the age of six, I was struggling with reading a bit myself. Okay. But um, my mother, I recall, helped by sitting with me each night and going through words, single words and single sentences mm. and getting me to repeat them and my reading improved dramatically. So you have moved from a child who struggled with reading mm. to an adult who writes children's books. Yes, and, and as an older child I, I was an avid reader and read very well. Not every author comes from a childhood that emanates a love of literature and an innate ability to read. Ted makes it very clear that your early childhood sheds great light on later years and that a struggle early on doesn't always mean that it will remain a struggle. Enjoy reading with your children. You never know what is around the corner for them.